And we move on with um, yeah, the next presentation, uh, which will be done by Julian Helmchen from Freie Universität Berlin. Yeah, uh, hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Julian, and uh, due to the format uh, Lightning Talk, let's uh, jump right into the topic for today, which is uh, the creation of a uh, um, general model for German handwritings from the late um, Middle Ages, namely 15th, early 16th century. And um, that's important. What I'm presenting right now is by no means a finished project but more or less a request uh, for aid. This is because I, as well as uh, many other medievalists, I assume, was facing some hoops to jump through um, when starting off with working with uh, transcribos. For um, my own project, which is called uh, Mapping Medieval Vienna, I need to um, transcribe more than 3,000 pages of uh, Viennese uh, real estate records from the 15th century. And without transcribos, this would just not be possible within a timely manner. Yeah, but to really take advantage of the HDR tool, I needed to train uh, a model for my manuscripts from scratch. And that was rather time consuming. This uh, was because um, at that time when I started, um, which was in 2018, 19, um, there was just no fitting base model to draw from. So um, most models back then were covering mostly more recent German from 16th century or onwards. Yeah, um, and in the end, my own model turned out uh, to be functioning quite well, but only for my very specific sources. Then last year, Angela Huang and um, Gerhard Schwedler from the universities of Kiel and uh, Lübeck hosted a summer school centered around transcribos. We heard of that uh, before this day from uh, Vivian Popkin. Thank you. Yeah, and when discussing our ways of using transcribos, uh, we discovered that many of us ran into the same kind of problem. So, and that then kindled a spark in us. What if we take all um, the training data we gathered in our individual projects and just mesh them together? In this way, we can create a more generic model that can then be used as a base model for all future models to be trained. So this was, uh, would help all other medievalists to get started and make the access to uh, late medieval German handwritings for everyone more easy and accessible. Yeah, to um, put this idea into practice, um, the group from the summer school is more or less meeting monthly to discuss our individual progress and uh, contribute more ground truth um, to our group. Yeah, um, so far we have uh, created a collection where we all link our material to, and based from the linked transcriptions, um, we created a first uh, model prototype from a training set uh, consisting so far of 70, 77,000 words. That's not very much. Yeah, but um, yeah, the method we used was HDR plus, and um, the validation set, or the CR on the validation set is with 3.8%, uh, uh, pretty good so far. So yeah, um, here you can see what it gets right and what it gets wrong. Maybe the CR is uh, for real a little bit, um, bit, little bit higher because the validation set only consists of material which we have taken from our sources. So that's the only uh, page in that um, validation set, which is like um, not uh, linked to our projects, and it's still functioning pretty okay-ish, I would say. It could be improved, but nevertheless, I don't want to play it down. Yeah, so the next step will be um, trying it with more new material and uh, testing the uh, Pylaya engine. But um, in fact, we don't expect the error rate to drop significantly because just um, medieval documents have some features which will eventually uh, cause problems. Um, for instance, uh, different German dialects, low German, higher German, or um, different kinds of scripts and uh, fonts, even in the same uh, document. Like for example, all these are taken just from my uh, Venice records. And then a big point, the highly uh, varying kinds of uh, abbreviations. 
Yeah, to solve some of these challenges, it would be helpful to agree on some transcription guidelines and maybe hit the lowest uh, common denominator there. So far, we have not done this because more or less um, we are all like, um, yeah, we must stick with our individual guidelines for our individual projects. But, and that's the point, we hope to even out this challenge and making the ground truth as diverse as possible with the following idea. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, to improve the model, we need more data. To uh, get more data, we need more transcriptions and transcribers. And the better the model gets, the easier it is um, to start uh, transcribing. So, um, and that's the big point. Um, if you are working with late medieval German material or have plans to do so, please get in touch with us, uh, namely uh, me and uh, or Angela Wang. Yeah, we would be very happy if you would uh, join the group and discussing all transcribos or transcription related topics. Yeah, and um, that's also important. Uh, the transcriptions itself are not made um, public, so all possible rights will remain with you. Yeah, and uh, last, last but not least, um, if you want to try out what we already achieved, uh, our first prototype is online uh, since last week. Uh, Thank you, Miriam. She's not here. <laughs> she made it possible. Yeah, you can find it with a link or just on the Transcribos website. And so, uh, yeah, let's uh, join forces. That was the title. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect.